Okay, everybody. What is going on? <laughs> that bald gamer here, of course. And uh, today, I'm very excited for today for all the wrong reasons. Um, <laughs> first off, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, Chris? We got Ling, we got Dom, we got Jess. Uh, I think we got Forgotten Vessel and Anaf and Luna and, and Travon here. But yeah, um, for those of you who don't know, um, hey, what's up, Mysterious Vagabond? So I'm a huge fan of the Anger Video Game Nerd. Um, I've watched this stuff really ever since he started. Man, how long ago has that been? It's been like... Maybe close to 15 years. Maybe even a little bit longer, give or take. But he's been doing this for a long time. And uh, the game that really put him on the map was Castlevania II Simon's Quest. It was his first ever video review and how it was terrible. <laughs> um, and it's actually one of the few video games he, he reviewed twice. It was so bad. Once, you know, obviously his first one, and then he covered it again when his skills improved. Um, and he tried to get a, a fresher take on it, but it still was kind of the same same opinion. And uh, I've always heard about this game, like just how it's rough, it's, it's, it's tough. <laughs> But for all the wrong reasons, with the controls and cryptic areas and stuff like that. But uh, just for some, some insight, I actually uh, met James Rolfe, who's the Angry Video Game Nerd, um, back in 2014. And it's smudged up like there's no tomorrow, but he actually signed this AVGN doll right here. Um, I met him at SGC, the Screw Attack Gaming Convention. And also Mike Matei, his illustrator, was signed it on the back as well. Um, so it's pretty cool. Huge inspiration to me and, and what got me started on my own channel. Just sitting and watching his videos and his takes throughout the years, throughout the decades. <laughs> Jeez. Um, he, needless to say, he's been a large part of my life and I've always wanted to play this one. So last Sunday, we played through the first Castlevania. And today, we're going to see what makes Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest so rough. So, anyway, um, all that being said, I'm going to dive right in. Uh, we're just gonna start it up. This came out in 1988, so pretty much two years after I was born. Uh, prologue. Step into the shadows of the Hell House. Okay. Well then. Let's see. I guess we're going right into it. Wow, okay, already I'm... <laughs> Wait, okay. Wait, whoa, 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 First thing to do in this town is buy a white crystal. What? <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be right into the middle of a town or something. What's up, Minibo? Can I hit the people? No? Why are they all using canes? A crooked trader is offering bum deals in this town. What? Already this is not what I expected. Rest here for a while. Okay, thanks. Is this a door or is this a shadow? Okay. <laughs> At least the music's nice in this little town. How wide is it? It's a pretty wide town. Alright, that must be obviously the barrier. Who's this guy? Buy a white crystal? Yes. Did I buy it? I don't know if I bought it or not. I don't even know if I had enough hearts. Want to buy holy water? No. <laughs> I'm a little bit... A little bit lost. I don't think I had hearts to buy that crystal yet. Talk to me. Wait, 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 wait. A flame is on top of the sixth tree in Dennis Woods? What kind of name is that for some woods? Dennis Woods? Dennis Rodman Woods. Okay, now wait a minute. Okay. 
Precision jumping. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that, that escalated quickly. Oh, man. Those guys are pretty tough. I don't know if I can beat them quickly enough. Let's see what's on the right. Yep. Woods named after Dennis. It is kind of giving me Zelda 2 vibes. What a horrible night to have a curse. Da, 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 da. Here's here's the famous song. Man, what the beep? There we go. This must be Dennis Woods. Oh man, this is rough. Mainly because of the respawn rate. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be cursing Dennis. Y'all gone all Dennis. Must be Dennis Rodman. Pop, 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 pop. Oh man, they're coming out of the ground! Watch. Oh, I knew it. I was going to say, watch one come up from there. Now how the heck am I going to get across that? Oh, he dives down. Nice. Got to be careful here. I bet one's going to pop up right here. Nice. Ugh, you can barely make those jumps. You have to be, like, right on the edge. Where even is the heart meter? How do you know how many hearts you have? Okay, you get a pause to see it. That's interesting. What's up, Soda? Okay, this is interesting place. I gotta say, I do like the music, though. This is like a catchy tune. I don't think I can make that jump. I, I don't see that ending well. I'm gonna go this way. We've come so far. Is that supposed to be water? No. Okay. Hey, what's up, Nick? Why, why, why is it hilarious? Wait, what the heck? Oh, it's morning time. So yeah, this has like a day and night cycle, and it tried to be like hip and cool, but it actually, you know, it's kind of a hashtag first world problem when it pops up. Wait, what? Is this a new town? A rib can shield you from evil. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to even say to that tip. A nice house. Laurels in your soup enhances its aroma. Thanks. You look pale, my son. You must rest. Hmm. Oh, right. No, so what they're saying, Nick, is on the first Castlevania, there was a timer. Here, you can just kind of take your time. Which is cool. No, 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 no. There was actually a timer. Like, you had to beat the levels very quickly. Which was kind of a pain. But I think this one's trying to be a lot less linear. Oh, 
Like, I think this is- this one actually involves some, like, exploration and stuff. Uh, why is there an eyeball flying over towards me? <laughs> I wasn't a fan of that. Oh, man. That's tricky. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, though. I don't know. I'm tempted to just use save state since we learned from last time. Well, shoot. Now I really wish I did. <laughs> oh, man. Um, do we have lives? Does the L stand for life? I don't know. But that way we could just make it a smooth, like, process. I don't... I'm wondering if you even have lives in this. I don't know. We're gonna find out. This is a tricky spot. Okay. What? <laughs> that was interesting. I had, like, no way to move. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to play through all the uh, the old ones. I played through uh, Symphony of the Night, though. I love that one. Oh. Oh. That stuff doesn't kill you. Interesting. Oh, so wait a minute. That kind of changes things up ahead. Although, <laughs> how do I get around this? I can't duck walk. Do, 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 do. Whoops. Alright, so I really don't think we're gonna make this jump. Oh, but we made it! Yo! All right, there we go. Back to nighttime. Give me one minute. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Da 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 dee. I like this song. It's nice. I don't like that though. How in the heck? Alright. Oh, I guess you just have to take that hit. Plus, either way, I'm not getting down there anyway. Okay, so I guess I might die here. We'll find out if that L means life. Or not. Okay, I guess I'll go down. See what that eyeball creature's all about. Now that I know that that little lava pit's not gonna kill you. Wait, whoa, 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 what happened to the towns? <laughs> Apparently the towns are creepy at night. Okay, so that doesn't mean... So I think you just keep going. Also, apparently I did buy a white crystal. I didn't know I had enough hearts for that. I can't go in the towns at night, or in the buildings. Uh-oh. Hey, what's up, McSilver? I can't go anywhere at night. Okay, interesting. I wonder... Yeah, I kept my hearts. 
I wonder what the life situation is. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing. I guess, yeah, I know the AVGN ripped it apart, and I was very curious. Alright, I don't know about this eyeball. I don't know how to get past this eyeball. I guess I need a stronger whip. Probably need a stronger whip. I'm gonna die here. What's going on, Judd? Okay, so there is a game over system, so it's just three lives. But it, but it's generous, though. It, like, starts you off here anyway. Alright, well, this sucks. I didn't mean to do this, but this is one way to get past that eyeball. I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. That's not how I had hoped to do that. Wait, did I lose my hearts? You do lose your hearts when you die, though. That's the downside. Okay. Oh, no. I really don't like these dudes. Oh, man, the respawn! No! Okay, there we go. Pop, pop, pop. Watch there be some more. Yep. God bless it. <laughs> oh, no. No, the respawn! Wait. Is my whip stronger during the day? So I think the enemies are stronger at night. That's interesting. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because now they're two hits. That's cool. So you just got to watch out for nighttime stuff. What's up, Darian? What's going on, Harless? Think of the two. Time to storm the castle. Charge! <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what a mansion is, so I'm just kind of just winging it right now. I kind of just started. But I'll keep that in mind. Give me one minute here. While I try to update this. Thank you for that too, though. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. T to the he. Alright, give me one minute. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know why it's not letting me edit the text here. That's actually really weird. Just let me do it there. Hmm. Alright, give me a minute. I guess I'm just gonna have to remake it. Give me one second. Thank you for the 26 likes as well. Yeah, sometimes Photoshop glitches out. It's okay, duplicate layer. It's not letting me edit the text. But I can duplicate the layer. Alright, so... Alright. And then we'll go ahead and shrink down the text here just a little bit. Drag it down just a little bit. And then I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and make it the... that color. Yeah. All 
All right. There we go. Should update now. We fixed. Okay. <laughs> that was weird though. I hate when Photoshop glitches out and I have to do double the work. Okay, so note to self, you can't destroy the spider webs. <laughs> Good to know. Also, the spider webs are diagonal projectiles. What's up, Red? Yeah. I'm not really a retro streamer, so... When I do retro games, it's not the biggest audience, but... It is what it is. How you doing, Red? Yeah, usually it's my Pokemon stuff that gets a lot. Alright. Uh, this is different. I'm not even sure I can do much here because... I can't jump in the water. I might be like way ahead of myself here. Oh, wait a minute. We just came around. We looped around. What's going on, Mudkip? Yeah, we just made a big loopy. Oh, that sucks. So I can... I can see how there's a, a good likelihood of getting lost in this particular game. Oh, I was looking at the chat there for that. Well, hopefully you're having fun with Splatoon. Jeez. Well, that was a lot of acrobatics there, but... I was actually surprised I made it through that. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Azalea? How you doing today? You doing alright? Have you played any of the Castlevania games before? Doing alright, tired? Yeah, I was... I slept in a lot tonight, today, so I'm gonna be up all night. But that's good because I have um, a few more video ideas I'm gonna work on later tonight. But, all that being said, doing pretty good. Trying to play through uh, these old Castlevania games. Not not my uh, target audience, but I'm having fun with them. Getting to play through these little pieces of history here. A lot of these games came out before uh, probably most of our audiences were even born. <laughs> so it's kind of neat to just go through a blast from the past. Yes, now Symphony of the Night is, is very well done. And uh, that's one of my all-time favorite games. These are very much different. Different time. But I agree. I really love Symphony of the Night. Well, best of luck to you, Splatoon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay, so... Yeah, this this part's whack, because I can't get by those two dudes. Whether it's day or night. I think I need a stronger whip. And because I've seen the AVGN, I know that this game has a flame whip. I just don't know how to get how to get it. I mean, I'm sure maybe it's something to do with buying them. Maybe? I don't know. I don't I don't see how that could be misinterpreted, Mudkip. <laughs> Seems pretty straightforward to me. What's going on, McDazzy? But yeah, pretty groggy myself, so hopefully I'll uh, wake up as the stream goes on. I'm sure I will. I'm kind of just farming hearts until it becomes daytime. I think I'm supposed to do more in this town when it when uh, the villagers pop up. But right now I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I wonder how long the day-night cycle was. Maybe 10 minutes? Wow, I wish that freaking thing would stop hopping around like a bunny. It's a wolf, not a bunny. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I was about to get triggered by that thing. Oh, yeah, Darren? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what a mansion is, <laughs> so... Want to buy holy water. Sure. What's going on, Allie? So apparently I have holy water. Alright. Let me heal first. I think one of these places is like the church dude. Yeah, right here, right here. Yeah, I'm playing on the Switch. How you holding up, Bally? Alright, so we got holy water. Oops. Bum, 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 bum. And we're gonna just keep going to the right. Nice. These enemies are weaker in the daytime. I do kind of like that aspect. That's kind of neat. That's kind of clever for the time. Like they're stronger at night and weaker during the day. I like that. Like, because again, this came out in 1988, so that was... Pretty sure that was pretty groundbreaking for the time. Oh, I got cocky there. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. That's a terrible spot for him to be in. Man, you really got to try to hit him like midair, or just go under him. That works too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I 
Do, 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 do. Good timing there. Bup, 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 bup. <laughs> Music's catchy though. Alright, so this looks mansion esque. Okay, well, suddenly the platform's moving. That wasn't there before. Okay. Now, how in the heck? <laughs> okay. Woo! Oh, yes, shields. Shoot. Okay. What in the world is that? It's glitching out, too, whatever it is. Big heart there. Oh crap, the respawn rate. I was adjusting my mic. I don't know if my my whip oh it will reach, okay. Nice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this ain't too bad. It's kind of fun. So far. <laughs> I'm sure that's subject to change. How many hearts do I have? I have a lot. What's that guy doing down there? Okay, these guys are a little bit annoying. Wait, that bald Belmont! <laughs> Wait, what? What a horrible night to have a curse. Thankfully, it's a good day to be at the stream. <laughs> Hey, hey, TVD! Yo, 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 yo! Thank you so much for that! <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate that, uh, 1222! Any significance to 1222? <laughs> Appreciate that. I'm just gonna say Ball Belmont. That's funny. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, you're playing as Simon Belmont, which we do have um, Simon Belmont emojis today. If anybody's curious to use them. Hey there, Thaddeus. How you doing today? This game reminds you of Adventure of Link. Yeah, that's the second time we've heard that today. Um, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. I think they came out around the same time, too, so that kind of makes sense. I love that alert, though. What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. Classic line. All right, so wait a minute. So how do you equip the holy water? Oh, God. That was a bad place to pause. Oh, man. We made it through. We made it through. I'm looking for miserable pile of secrets. Alright, so th that villager was over here. I wonder what he... What he has to say for himself. Invest in an oak stake. Sure. Okay. Still can't beat the lizard boss in Metroid Dread? Aw, oh, you'll get that. You'll get that. Metroid Dread is so much fun. I can't wait to finish it on uh, Tuesday. I'm gonna stream until we beat it. Hey, West! But hey there, 
How have you been? I've been doing pretty good. Doing, doing very well. Um, getting my channel back on track. Enjoying playing these older games for the for the holiday spoopy season. <laughs> Love that sound. How you been, West? Good to see you. Good to see you. And don't don't sweat not being around for a while. Life happens. What just happened there? Did I level up? Oh, so that's what the L means. I think I did level up. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I remember uh, from the Angry Video Game Nerds review that you uh, have to get oak steaks. So I guess in every mansion you got to find that guy and buy an oak steak, I suppose. Because I think the whole premise of Castlevania 2 is, you know, you beat Dracula in Castlevania 1. And then the story here is that Dracula's bones are spread out in mansions across the land. And you have to destroy Dracula's bones. And I think that's pretty much the premise of Castlevania 2. But yeah, seriously, thank you so much for that, Wes. I appreciate that. Uh... Have you... Did you did you play Castlevania growing up, Wes? Better yet, who in the chat has played through a Castlevania game? It could be any of them. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's the holy water thing. For the holes in the ground. Woo! Cutting it close there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna need to learn how to equip the holy water. They're very different, isn't they? They're very different. So what it's gonna work out is uh, on Halloween night, Symphony of the Night's gonna be my Halloween stream, but that's gonna be a replay. Uh, that's one of my favorite games of all time, and I've been itching to replay it for for a while now. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, you played the OG on an emulator, aside from uh, alongside Pokemon Sapphire. So this is uh, the Switch version, the Advanced Collection. You can play through pretty much. All of the old Castlevania games, I got it for $5. It was on sale. And I was like, you know what? I can't pass that up. That's such a good deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Castlevania 64, isn't that one of the worst, though? What's up, Cosmos? Um, eventually, I'll play Deltarune, yes. Just not, uh, not anytime soon. Da, da, da. Yo, what's going on, McLozenges? Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, I really need to know how to equip the holy water. Like, I have it, but, like, I don't know how to use it. Because I know the holy water helps you find, like, holes in the ground. Also, thanks for the likes on the stream, everybody. I appreciate that. I think mainly the AVGN gave it a bad rap. <laughs> oh, jeez. Open up the menu and press down. Okay. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And you gotta press up. Okay, see? So we can see there's a hole right there, because it's going through. That was a cruel spot. Oh, jeez. Okay, so there's a hole there. And there. Frame rate height. Frame rate is really struggle busting. I don't know how to get up though. I'm not sure I can.
Yeah, it's a dead end. Oof, and I died too. Where's it gonna start me? The beginning of the mansion? No, that's actually a very generous start. It's just that I'm no longer leveled up. No, I am leveled up. And I still have all my stuff. Well, that's generous. You just lose your hearts. We don't know when Sora comes out. Usually they drop around 9 p.m. I don't know how I'm going to make that jump. <laughs> Man, I have to be like right on the ledge. I remember ABGN talking about this. Here we go. Yeah, you have to be like right on the ledge. Jeez. Okay, you know what? I guess I just gotta loop around. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to like mega backtrack here, I suppose. But I'm a little bit lost. Also, I don't remember that room. Wait, this is the beginning. Yeah, we're at the beginning. Okay, so I really gotta backtrack, but this time I have the holy water. And we'll be able to figure out where those holes in the ground are. Whoops. Oh, that guy's gonna be annoying as heck, isn't he? Okay, I gotta time this. It was actually the bad time, but I made it work anyway. Not my audience, I'll tell you that much, Scorp. <laughs> How you doing, man? Oh, if this thing comes over here, I'm gonna be so mad. Alright, there we go. Alright, so again, now we have the holy water. And I think in the next room, we're gonna have to start using it. Already there? I don't remember that being a hole in the wall there. What's up, Xiafol? Oh my god. That was like the worst trajectory that thing could have taken. Come on. There we go. Alright, there is a... This very first one is a hole. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm living through a uh, AVGN episode because he said he had to keep doing this the whole time. Watching out for holes. Oh man, these dudes are annoying. Oh jeez.
But what the beep? What is a man? Hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm not a pile. I am a sentient being that can donate on my own where I see something I like. Hope we can defeat death wherever stands in your way in this quest. Hey, thank you for that. 502! I love it. I love the names. The mystery person. Bald Belmont. What is a man? The famous quote. Hey, what's up, Phoenix? Yes, what a horrible night to have a curse. The classic line that ruined childhoods. Alright, okay, so wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So here's where I need to be careful with the holy water. Also, what happened to the pork chops in the wall? <laughs> I'm not seeing them. There's a lack of pork. Okay. So we got the oak steak. We don't need to go down there again. I mean, at least... At least the, uh, the holy water is infinite. What's up, J.A.? Dang it. Exactly, exactly. I, I really don't like those blue things. What's going on, Whitney? Okay. Aha! There's a hole right there! See? See how the holy water goes right through it? I think that's the one that got me last time, too. So now we're actually progressing. Yeah, here's where I have to use an oak steak. There we go! Hey! I did something. You now possess... Dracula's rib. Wasn't that neat? What good is that gonna do for me? Can I eat it? <laughs> like, I don't know. Alright, we need to... Yeah, what, what good is the rib? I guess now I gotta backtrack? Wait, did it say Prozess? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot about these, uh, terrible translations. Hang on, I'm rewinding, and I'm, I'm gonna make an image of it if it did. Hey, thank you for the 40 likes. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see, <laughs> did, it, did it say process? You now? Oh my god, it did! Wow, hold on a minute. I gotta, you guys gotta see this. Look at this, look at this. That's funny. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just gonna title it that. I'm gonna go to images here. Hold on. Oh man, this is great. Hang on, I gotta go to my folders. I have like five million folders. Right here. It said, You now possess <laughs> Dracula's rib. Oh, man. They had one job. One job. Oh, man. That's great. I love it. All right, anyway. <laughs> What's going on, Dynamic? I see, I see. Did not mean to fall down though, but however, that might be a shortcut to the beginning. Well, that was unfortunate timing there.
Oh, crap. I forgot about the holes. Okay, so... What's going on, Panda? How are you doing today? <laughs> I see Laden just clipped it. You now possess. Oh man, love it. What do you think about that, Mikalaza Rooney? What do you think about those typos? Because guess what? There's more to come. I guess we're done here, though. I guess we can just leave. Well, that's one mansion down. I think, low-key, I think I like this better than the first one. It d depends. It depends. Because I like, I like the exploration of this. This is not quite as linear as the older games. Dang, Mazda's. Except for this part. Where it just pauses the game just so it can turn into night. Oh, I hate the bats. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, this is a classic song. Oh god. Oh, I barely dodged those. Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay. Oh, jeez. I hate these things when they take four hits. Da -da 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 it's gonna respawn, too. Heck, that's a lot of them. I'm gonna die here. What's up, I am bad? It is the guy from Smash. Yes, yeah, Simon Belmont. I'm just gonna take these hits. What? Oh, crap. There's a ledge there I gotta jump over. Man, it, the skeletons are a lot tougher when they take four hits. Do, 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 do. Oh, jeez. So I'm basically playing this game so you don't have to. I can make that into a video series. I'm playing this game so you don't have to. <laughs> a lot of people are on the fence on this one. I don't know. I, I mean, I kind of like it in a way. It's it's surprisingly generous. I don't know if that's the port. Like if they if they made that improvement over the port or what. But like, it's generous in the sense that you know you get to keep all your crap outside of your hearts. I don't know how in the heck we got into conversations about watermelon and grapes, <laughs> but all I can say is no grapes taste better than uh, Japanese grapes. <laughs> Dang, that was a lot of hits. Interesting, interesting. What in the world? I remember that taking so many hits. 
That's true, you're right. Yeah, the typos probably would have been fixed. Da 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 da. Let's see, but now I need hearts. Can't really do much here now. Beep 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 well, this town's kind of pointless. Wait, wait, wait. Buy some garlic. It has special powers. Yeah, like, it makes your breath smell. That's a special power. Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the Veros woods. What's with all these empty houses? Da 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 da. Clues he says the same doggone thing. Also, low key, these buildings are ridiculously randomly high. Okay. The dead river waits to be freed from the curse. Who's this guy? I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. What? I didn't agree to that exchange. <laughs> well, I guess I have a blue crystal now. I haven't beat Dread yet. I'll beat it on Tuesday, though. I feel like I could have easily beat it, though, in, like, maybe 13 or 14 hours. But I just found a good stopping point and stopped. Are you a fan, Scorp? That was a lot of hits. Do, 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 do. Now, how in the heck am I going to make that jump? I can't. Something told me it might have something to do with the blue crystal, though. Low key. I don't know. This is one of those games where you kind of needed a guide. Maybe it changes at night? And that's also a possibility. I'm gonna go back and try to use the blue crystal and see if anything happens. I doubt it. Nothing. <laughs> Alright, but let's see if it changes at night, though. I don't know. No. Well, hmm. Well, those things are about the same uh, strength-wise day or night.
Yeah, that's the thing about these old games, like, they, the songs loop and they get stuck, but I mean, at least it's not a bad song. Could be worse, could be a crappy song, it's kind of catchy. See, now how come that one took just, like, two hits? Exaggeration, but... And the other one earlier took, like, 10,000 hits. What the heck? <laughs> that's not taking that many hits at all. Hmm. Maybe one of these formerly empty houses has someone in there at night. Or not, because yes, that's right, you can't go in them at night. Alright, well, I think, I think I can't do anything here yet. See, this one takes like a million hits. What's the difference? Alright, so I'm gonna have to backtrack a bit. I'm gonna try the rib. So much for projecting against projectiles. What's up, potato? Jeez. Hey, what's up, cool? Gotta be careful for those bees. The only other thing I think of is maybe I gotta go down, which is also possible here. And why I backtracked. Maybe this has something to do with it, I don't know. At least now the enemies will be a little bit weaker. I don't remember if I've been here before, though. I don't think I have. There was an area earlier that was similar, but I don't, I don't think... I don't think it was quite this. Man, those things are much better to deal with during the day. Yeah, I haven't been here before. I would remember that floating platform down below. What's up, Nova? So this is new. Also, what's the point of going the bottom way when the top way is much easier? Okay, wait a minute. This must be something to do with the blue crystal. Maybe. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I remember this from the AVGN episode! You have to highlight the blue crystal, duck down for like five seconds, and then it will reveal the secret path. It helps to watch the Angry Video Game Nerd. <laughs> Alright. That's one of those cryptic parts though where you're like, where the beep do I go? Okay. That sucks though. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. It's pretty anticlimactic. Alright, I'm just gonna go up here and drop down. <laughs> Alright, we have another new mansion. Man, the only thing that sucks about this is the frame rate gets wacky with these bone dudes. Like if there's too many things on the screen at once. And they just killed themselves. And I just killed myself. <laughs> hey, catch you later, Azalea. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Have a great and wonderful day.
Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I was gonna say, yeah, I didn't see any steps, but there they are. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be a huge pain with the frame rate. Man. <laughs> Biggest enemy is definitely the frame rate there. Yeah, what's up, Blazekin? Yeah, I probably, I probably potentially could have beat it in one stream, but. I decided to split it into two so I could take my time with it. I didn't want to feel like I had to rush. I had to do that with the other one, so... Tuesday we'll definitely be able to beat it. Oh, man. Are those spikes going to be instant death? No, they're not. Yes, they are. Okay, so you have to be very specific with your jumps here. Wow, what a tricky spot. It's tricky. That was close. It's very generous on the starting points, though. a hole. That's a big jump, too. Woo! Oh, this is a huge pain. Oh, man, that is a pain right there. Unfortunately, it was generous on the spawn. God bless it. That's annoying. Man, now I have to go through this crap again and die a bunch. I'm just going to ramble my way through it. So I think those gargoyle dudes are like my least favorite enemies. That's such a pain, man. I don't know how that's possible. Unless you have a stronger whip.
Jeez, this is a very annoying spot. What's up, Biolithic? Eh, it's okay. It's kind of annoying at the moment, but... How are you doing today? I've played through one in Symphony of the Night. Um, the idea is to at least do this one and four for sure. I don't know what I'm going to do uh, before four or after four. I might switch it up. I was going to do three, but I might switch it up and do like Rondo of Blood or something. Potentially, I don't know. I wonder if the holy water works on those things. Let's see. Oh jeez, this, this guy's gonna come and ruin my day. God help me. That is like one of the most annoying spots in the game. That's even worse than that hall in the first one. Might be able to do it this time. Just gotta keep that thing from respawning like that. And it just keeps respawning, you know. That's that's the pain here is the respawn. Now there are two of them. Jeez, man. <laughs> it just respawns in. And now we got this bat that's gonna ruin our day. Never mind. I think we might actually do it, though. We gotta go, we gotta go, 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 go! Nice, we did it. At least that's progress. Okay, so we can't go down there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm at the beginning. Hold up. So where do you go from there? Ah, you just go right through. What's going on, Pensive? How you doing? Oh, 
I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Making progress. Now this seems tricky. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, this is that jump from the AVGN episode. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can see that's going to be fun. Yeah, he said he spent hours on this jump. I already got it covered, pensive. There we go. Gee, ah, crap. I can see that jump being fun. Hey, that's very good, Biolithic. I'm glad you're taking it easy. And I appreciate you being here. Oh, man. <laughs> that's a pain jump, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> But we did it, we did it, we did it. <laughs> this isn't too bad, isn't too bad. Oh, we don't have another oak. Do we? Oh, no, we don't have an oak steak. Crap. We did all that, and I don't have an oak steak. Oh, man. So if I remember correctly, I think there's a person in the mansion that has one. You got to find them, I suppose. But I didn't see a guy in here. Maybe he's this way, I don't know. That's fair. I was kind of rambling those anyway. Okay, that's... That's where I need the oak steak. The problem is, where is the oak steak? Do I have the right idea, though, Pensive? Like, he's, are they pretty much just in the individual dungeons? So I just gotta find them somewhere in here? That's the way it was in the first one, but I don't know if that's consistent or not. I didn't see him at all, so I, I don't know even where to begin there. Unless he's like somewhere down here. There's always one lurking in each dungeon. Alright, so I guess we gotta find the salesman. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Uh. Okay, maybe we go to the right? I don't know. That's an interesting jump. Oh, jeez. It's probably that way because I don't recognize that spot. But you gotta be really right on the edge there. Okay. There we go. He's probably up here. Oh, the holy water. There he is, though. 
Oh, but I don't have any hearts, do I? Oh, man. That's rough. Oh, jeez. Not to mention, he's in a crap spot. So, yeah, I gotta, I gotta try to be careful in survive and get 50 hearts. How close am I to a game over? I think I'm, like, one more death away. Okay. Dang, man. Yeah, you gotta be really careful there. I almost want a game over on purpose here. It's kind of cheap, but... <laughs> okay, so now we just gotta collect hearts for a little bit. Absolutely pensive. Yeah, I only have that whip. I don't have the flame whip or anything yet. Thank you for the 42 likes on the stream as well, too. And I do hope everyone's having a great day. Quiet chat, like I said. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I just guess my fan base isn't too big on the retro games, but I'm vibing. I'm loving it. And we will be able to beat this today. I can tell by my pacing. We'll be all right. It's going to be fun. For me, at least. What's up, J-Mines? So I need a couple more hearts here. Whoa, that guy kind of overextended a bit. Yeah, they're very nostalgic, but I, I, this one in particular has frame rate issues. When you get more than like three or four of those uh, certain enemies in, in the same screen, it really struggles. Yeah, I've, I've, you need to try the sake flavored Kit Kats from Japan, and the grape and the strawberry shortcake. When you actually go to Japan, like actual Japan and not the international stores, they're loaded with those special flavor Kit Kats. Even the airports have like Kit Kat stores. Like Tokyo Airport. I still need a few more. Like, I hate to sound like a weeb, but, like, honestly, the green tea Kit Kats are a cop-out. 
<laughs> There's so much better uh, international Kit Kats out there, but those are the, those are the common ones that, um, you know, that they they just sell here. Well, thank you for subscribing. Although I know you're not watching. That's from the obviously by that name. That's from the Kingdom Hearts video. That's still kind of trending. Yeah, super quiet chat today, but that's all right. I appreciate y'all being here. I don't expect it to pick up too much more than it already is. I need two more hearts, which is a shame, but... I think the full hearts are worth like four or eight or something, and then the half hearts are worth... They're worth four. Okay, so yeah, so the half hearts are worth four. Either way, we have enough now, so... Now we just gotta time our jumps. That was good. Alright, now we got an oak stake. Well, it helps if I select yes. Yeah, I feel like this one's way more of a Symphium the Night Influencer than uh, the others. But really, Metroid itself is probably more of a Symphony of the Night influencer. Symphony of the Night is way more like Metroid than any of the others. But of the old ones, this is probably the closest to Symphony of the Night for sure, because it's not as linear. Okay. So now we just gotta make this silly jump again. Wow, first try, perfect. <laughs> Alright, and then... Gotta go down, down, down. And then we gotta just deliver this oak steak into the crystal ball here. There we go. Another one bites the dust. You now possess Dracula's heart. I love that I possess it. I'm gonna snap that. <laughs> oh man. Give me one second here. Okay. Nice re-release of Vampire Killer. Which one's that? Alright, so now we gotta leave, I suppose. Yeah, we got the heart. I think we just leave now. going on, Kame?
I think I don't think game testing had anything to do with it. I think it was <laughs> I, back then. It was a different like thing. Like I, I think I don't know. I don't know what the translation was like back then. Whether it was you know someone from Japan that actually did everything. I don't know if Nintendo of America existed back then. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. But if it was all, you know, up to Nintendo of Japan to do everything, then that might explain it. If Nintendo of America existed back then and they just totally missed Possess, then that's pretty sad. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, I'm sure that I mean, that's actually probably a fun fact, whether or not Nintendo of America existed back then. And whether or not it was completely up to Japan to, to translate it. Or not. Because this came out in 88. Okay, this, this is interesting. There we go. Oh, I'm surprised I made that jump. I was looking at the chat. Alright, anyway. See, so like right now, the frames are really struggling. So then I, um, my guess is then if, um, then I guess it was up to them to translate it, <laughs> they just really butchered it, I suppose. What, what does the heart do? I might actually have to look this up. Hey, what's up, Nighty Gal? Unless, you know, maybe Pensive can, like, tell me or something. What, what ability does the heart give? That's not Dracula's castle. It does. Hmm. Well, I don't know where to go at this point. Solid jumping. Maybe I need to take the bottom path? I don't know. Do, 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 do. No, it all leads to the same. Oh yeah, Scorp. Magorp. No, so like I said, the premise of this is in Castlevania 1, you destroyed uh, Dracula. And then for whatever, for whatever reason... Also, I'm gonna die here. Dracula's bones are spread out across the land in these mansions, so you have to go to these mansions to destroy his bones and collect his body parts. <laughs> so right now I have a rib and a heart. No, there's no map. Yeah, that's fair. I figured I was gonna die there. I don't know. I don't know why his bones are spread across all the mansions, though. But it is what it is. I don't know.
pretty much. See, this is where I left off earlier, and I don't... Yeah, I don't... I don't know how to get up here unless it's another one of the blue crystal things, which I doubt. Yeah, that's not doing anything. And clearly I can't make that jump. Probably just gonna have to mega backtrack. Pop, 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 pop. Alright, I'm gonna mega backtrack. Hey, what's up, Remy? Take a hit there. Two hits. Alright, so I'm mega backtracking. Da -da -da -da. Oops, I was looking at the chat there. I didn't think there was going to be a spawn right off the bat. There you go, Laws. <laughs> I do wish there was a way to speed that up, but it's not it's not the worst thing. It's just a tiny little hashtag first world problem. At least I got to these eyeballs when it's daytime. They're so much easier to kill at day. Now, one thing that could be a possibility is I can go down here. I don't think I've done that yet, potentially. No, I haven't. I haven't encountered the ferryman, but he might be down here. I don't know. <laughs> you have to really get the timing right on that. Oh, jeez. I hate the eyeballs! Yeah, hi Remy. I don't know if this is a new town or not. I'm not sure. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Onward and upward. Mm-hmm. 
I think I've already been here. sure if I've been this way yet or not. Jeez. Oh, this is a pain in the butt area. I have been here, I don't know. Everything looks kind of similar. It's tough to tell what loops around and what doesn't. Yeah, I think I've been here before. I don't know. I was looking at something there. Low key, I mean, thank you for subscribing, but I know you're not watching. <laughs> yeah, this is familiar. Yeah, I know all my subs from today are going to be from uh, the Sora video. It's daytime again. Oh, dang. Wow. Okay. I'm proven wrong. <laughs> Wait. So, did you search up Castlevania? I, I have a, a Sora video that's going on right now that's been doing well. <laughs> so, I guess I've been proven wrong. Welcome, Panther. And thank you for subscribing, I guess. 
Appreciate it. That's funny. <laughs> the one time. At least everybody's uh, welcoming. Yeah, I mean, we've already been this way. Like, I I've gotten to the point where, like, I'm looping a ton. Like, a map would have been very helpful here. This is definitely one of those Nintendo Power games. So yeah, I'm kind of lost right now. The only thing I can really think of to do is just super backtrack to the very beginning. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> well, thank you, Panther. Where you have the magazine and follow the walkthrough because it's crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, the game's not super hard per se. It's just figuring out where to go is what pads the difficulty here, I think. I'm just... I'm just tanking these hits, just because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Only thing that matters is leveling up. I'm not quite sure how to level up here, to be honest. Maybe I fall down there. That's one possibility. But I'm not sure. Because I think I tried this before and nothing happened. Or, pensive, call out as much as you like the backseat, you could just tell me. <laughs> why Why get a map when I could just have a backseater? You know what I mean? The one time you'll come in handy, you're not going to do it. <laughs> hmm. Alright, anyway. Much love to you, pensive. <laughs> yeah, I'm just backtracking, super backtracking. What in the world? Dive bomb bats. I think they might have been a crow, actually. Or a raven. I've only leveled up once. I don't know how. I actually don't know how to level up. I mean, I'd imagine you just kill enemies with. And you, I guess you can't get a game over. But I don't know. I actually don't know. I know. I'm just teasing. But I'm. But I also. I wouldn't mind the tip. Oh man! At this point. Yeah, we're 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 getting close to the beginning of the game. Whoops, man, that's that's I hate when it does that like it just puts a skeleton in your face Okay getting close to the beginning I Think this is the town like right here. Oh, no coming up though
Gah, that sucks. What's up, Blade? Wow. And once those things start hopping, they get very annoying. Alright, this should be the beginning. Yeah, this is the first town. And the only thing I can think of is, I remember in the beginning of the game, there was a, there was an area to the left that I could go to, but I'm not strong enough to kill the enemies quickly, so maybe... Maybe I need to upgrade my whip. So maybe I'll just do some heart farming here during the day. So I'm guessing then the ferryman's on the left side of the map, which again, I need a stronger whip in order to get there. Making progress though, making progress. I like it though, it's like... It's different. So those those are worth two. The single hearts are worth two, which is kind of weird. Single hearts are worth two. Half hearts are worth four. Big hearts are worth eight. So I guess they multiply. Oh, I was looking at the chat. I gotta watch out for the chat here. Getting there, they're getting there, getting close to 100. <laughs> Gotta hurry up because it's about to be nighttime. We're right at it, though. Oh, jeez. I don't know what my plan is, to be honest, moving forward. I know I wanted to get through this one, and we did the first one. I want to get through four. But I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with three. I may just not do three. I got to think about it. And then uh, Halloween Night's going to be Symphony of the Night. But I may do Rondo of Blood, which I think is a prequel to uh, Symphony of the Night. I'm going to think about it. Alright, so we got 100 hearts. time.
Da, 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 da. I wasn't able to get to the healing area fast enough there. Yeah. So wait, do I need 100 hearts or 150? Birthday, McDonald. Let's get those happy birthdays in the chat. McDonald Rooney. Thirty-five. There we go. There we go. Everyone's older than me. <laughs> oh man. I'm kind of just camping hearts here. I forget how many, like, lives I have, though. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. I'm going to try to get 150 and then heal here at the church and hope I don't get a game over. Yeah, keep those hearts coming in the chat for Dom. I hope you're having a great day, dude. Well, suddenly they're not appearing. Maybe they hate the church. <laughs> there you go. It's probably what it is. Probably don't want to be near the church. <laughs> that should do the trick. All right, now we have 150. Oh, shoot. I was looking at the chat. No! <laughs> Chat kills, man. Chat kills. I'm gonna have to straight up ignore the chat. What's up, brain? That's a big bummer. I didn't think those things spawned near the church, though. That's why I thought it was safe. It's still a good farming spot, though. I mean, we still might be able to get it fairly quickly here. I mean, I, I've, I've found, like, a very good loophole farming spot right here. If they just give me the hearts... Aww. Well, now we can't. Well, still, 44 quick ones wasn't too bad there. So I gotta go to the town on the right? For the better whip? Might as well make our way over there now. Catch you later, Chris. Good luck to you at work. Don't overdo it. Surprised I jumped over that. Wow, Simon's got hops. Hey, thanks for the 55 likes. That came out of nowhere. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. 
We're doing very good so far. What's up, Toster? It's great. I love it. Metroid Dread might be my favorite of the bunch. And how are you doing today? I'll be finishing up my playthrough of Dread on Tuesday, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Next Sunday, I, I might just go ahead and skip to, to Castlevania 4. Super Castlevania. And then the one after that, I might just do Rondo of Blood for the first time. Potentially. What's up, Frisk? What about those stairs? Where's the town, yo? Is the town down the stairs? Okay, I guess it's down the stairs. <laughs> Playing through Ace Attorney, eh? What? Wait, what stairs? I guess in the beginning, backtracking a bit. Nah, we're good with hearts. I gotta get out of here, Knight. Now this sucks. Well, that wasn't too bad. We have a hundred and ten. Are you a Metroid fan? This might be a good little farming area. Yeah, man. Fusion is, was my favorite, but I, I really think Dread's going to surpass it. Like, I really like a lot of things about Dread. Some people don't like the chase scenes with Emmys, but I love them. I love stuff like that. It reminds me, literally the best way I can explain Metroid Dread is I, I consider it 2D alien isolation. It really just has that same vibe, and I like it. No, don't worry about it, Judd. You're fine. Right, we should be really close to 150 hearts. Yeah, we just need uh, two more half hearts. Alright, one more. Alright, there we go. Wow. Oh, right, that, <laughs> that bat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Careful there. Oh, this whole area is creepy. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, I gotta be careful here. I'm just gonna wait for daytime. Jeez. 
Should be daytime pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, I think it's this door right here. There we go, there we go. What's up, DJ? You can do it. Shield's an easy one. Sword and shield are pretty easy. So I believe in you. Oh, look, nobody's here. Isn't that nice? Yeah, this is the town where, like, every house was empty, so I don't get it. So am I not allowed to skip whip pur purchases? Uh, you mean the melee counters? Yeah, they're a bit wacky. How can you learn to explore? You just walk around. <laughs> hey. I just learned to explore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. Well, interesting. Very cryptic, but interesting, nevertheless. All right, Mr. Hermit, give me my whip. <laughs> All right, there we go. Mr. Hidden Hermit. Can I kill him? Hello, everyone. This is Hermit the Frog here. And uh, I... You can only access my house by throwing holy water into the floor. All right, so now I think I gotta backtrack all the way to the left and go to that forest on the left, which I couldn't really access before because I wasn't strong enough. But now I think I might be. We'll see. That's my first guess. This is Hermit the Frog here. Ba 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 ba. Are you a whip fan, Scorp Magorp? Oh, pfft. I was mashing the jump button and nothing happened there. Oh, jeez. Now, surprisingly, too, I haven't leveled up yet in a, in a long while. So I don't know what that entails. There's two. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I just ramble them and I just shoot them. I don't even bother with the counters. It's a pain, but... It's a classic route. Oh yeah, now those wolves are dying in one hit. Alright, so now we gotta go to the forest on the left. Da 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 Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's sarcasm, by the way. Now I don't think I'm going to be able to beat those guys. Okay, I can, but they're still a pain in the butt. Okay, 
Okay, well, I'll take that hit. Man, what wacky enemies. What the beep? There's cats. Panther Gaming is in, uh, in the game. <laughs> oh, man, it's these dudes. Okay, so... What? <laughs> I think I just gotta deal with it. That's nice. I don't see this boating well. Holy crap, I made it. Ah, the ferryman. Let me show you the way. Thanks. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sin? All right, let's try this again, shall we? go making progress new dungeon <laughs> free hits I don't like those blob dudes. I don't think there's much of a point over here, unless... No. Oh, that's cheap. And go through the steps. Progress. No problem, Judd. And again, thank you all for being here. We appreciate that. I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea, but... You know, it's a chance to check out something new. Scratch something off the bucket list. Oh, there's the dude. Well, that's interesting. How am I going to get to him? Maybe from the top? Really fast there. Oh man, I hate these devil dudes. That was a nice spot. 
Okay, well, that's actually not that bad. He's right there. I just gotta figure out how to get there. Okay, so we got the oak steak. Cool. So now the question is... Well, first, let me adjust my posture without being attacked by a knight. <laughs> Ah, there you go, Biolithic. I thought I... Ooh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait for a soul. Wait, what? I didn't see what that said. It said wait for a soul with something. What did that say? Can I go back and, like, reactivate it? Alright, wait, wait, wait. With a red crystal on Deborah Cliff. Oh, okay. I think that's, like, the, the cryptic twister thing. The infamous twister cryptic tidbit. Also, what's with all these, like, forests and cliffs named after people? Is that named after the devs? Dennis Forest, Deborah Cliff, Bald... Bayou, Bald Bay, I don't know. Like, what? what's happening here? Yeah, it is. Hey, what's up, Bearbending? I hope I'm going the right way here. I really don't like those blobs. I mean, this does look new. Definitely haven't been through here. Oh, this is the funny scene in, uh... <laughs> this is it, this is it. This is where the Angry Video Game Nerds was like, remember the, how hard the Grim Reaper was in Castlevania 1? Well, check out how hard the Grim Reaper is here. Dang, that's really hard. <laughs> you can just walk by him. Oh, man, that's funny. I love that, I love that scene. That's a classic scene. I know, right? <laughs> you now possess Dracula's eye. Man, for such a frequent bit of text, the fact that that typo exists is just phenomenal. Hey, catch you later, forgotten. Like it was used so many times, and that's just exceptional. Man, man, man. Disney process. That's right, that's right. Alright, well. He's pretty tough, though, if you want to fight him. Ooh, he did so much damage there. I think if you touch him, you instantly die. Because I think he touched me. Yep, there we go. That's still really easy. Man. But I like, I like the AVGN, like he's like, watch how hard this boss is, and he just walks right by it, and he's like, you know, the other version of dang, he's like, dang, that was hard. Hey, 
What's up, 89? Well, thank you for being here from Bosnia. <laughs> appreciate you, appreciate you. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Yes, AVGN rules! I love that we have a lot of AVGN fans up in here. Like I said, um, I met him at, in SGC 2014 and he signed this little James Rolf doll. And then Mike Matei signed the back, his illustrator. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very happy. That was a fun day. The day after was not fun, though. Because <laughs> that was when I broke up with an ex at the time. But that particular day was great. Okay. Yeah. Wait. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Can I not get up there? Oh, I have to backtrack this way. Oh, no. Um... I'll always be a fan of AV of James Roth because, you know, he's one of the greats. <laughs> but I do think some of his recent stuff isn't as funny as the old stuff was. That being said, um, I think the difference now is, like, he has a bunch of... You know, he's, he's, a, he's a father of multiple kids and just, just trying to make ends meet. And I think a big issue is that it's it's not even just him anymore. He's got like ghost writers that are helping to write a bunch of his scripts and I don't know. You can you can tell there's a difference. How in the beep am I supposed to get down there? <laughs> no problem. Good to have you, 89. Oh no. Oh, okay, I could just fall down. Yeah, the LJN games. <laughs> yeah. I actually have the AVGN video games, the the deluxe versions on the PlayStation. I bought them on PlayStation 5. But they're also available on the Switch, I believe. They're pretty fun. They're definitely not family friendly, though. Yeah, he has two kids. What's up, uh, SM? So he's very busy, but he's still trying to do it because, you know, I, I want to be careful what I say because I don't think he's doing it for the money. You can just tell, though, that like you know, it's different. But he's a good dude. He's passionate about it. It's just that, you know, things change over time. But, I, I, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so... Oh, yeah? I'll tell you what, 89, once, uh, once N64 Online comes to the Switch, I'm going to be doing like an all-day extravaganza playing some of those N64 games with viewers, and I'd love to have some of you all there for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, no. I could see this being a pain. I think I remember AVGen talking about these blocks. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna have to ignore the chat for a bit. 
You know, fun fact, I actually beat Superman 64 as a kid. But that was back when I didn't even realize it was a bad game, and I had nothing else better to do. I rented it. Actually, I didn't even rent it. I bought it for like $4. And I was like, alright. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I beat it because I didn't, I didn't know any better. But it's kind of funny. Oh, man. Ah, jeez. I hit the jump button, but it didn't jump. Oh, this is going to be fun-filled. Oh, man. This could be a... You know what? I'm going to use save states here, <laughs> potentially. Every time I make a jump, I'm going to save state. I'm not even messing around. Don't... I'm, I'm dead serious. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this cheap crap I'm about to pull right now. Okay. So I am playing this on the Switch. It's the uh, the collection. I got it for five bucks on sale. You can play like all the old ones, not the advanced one, the new one that just came out. But this was the one that came out, I think, like last year. But yeah, it's currently on sale. Very good price. <laughs> I'm not messing around, y'all. I'm saving. All right. It was two years ago, man. Okay, well that was lucky. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, these blocks. Oh, jeez. I can see this being a huge pain. Is it 89? I've actually been enjoying this one, other than this part, but I mean, you know. I can imagine this, like, ruining a bunch of childhoods. This would only be really worse if it was like the first Castlevania, where like you had to start all the way back. Like if it was if it was a linear game, and every time you got a game over here, you had to start all the way back. That would suck. Okay, I I don't know how I did that. That was kind of glitchy, but I did it. It didn't seem like I had it. Oh my gosh, the momentum there was weird. I like super yeeted over top of it. <laughs> what? The momentum there is so weird. Okay, there we go. I, I just... I can only imagine the patience it takes to do this the right way without safe states. Well, unfortunately, we're almost done. Oh. Only downside is, I think I might need a red crystal over here, and I don't have it yet. Now, now I might have to go back. Oh, man. We'll see, we'll see. Mummies. Beep, 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 dee, dee, dee. What the beep are those things? Oh, Med Medusa heads are back. Interesting forest area here. I'll give you a diamond. Thanks. <laughs> okay, imagine walking down the street and you run into some person who's like, Hey, I'll give you a diamond. And he just gives you a diamond, no questions asked. Wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> what a deal, Scorp, yeah. He's like, here, take this diamond. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. I mean, it could be. It could be. 
Isn't this where I need, like, the red crystal, though, and I have to, like, duck down? But I don't have it. So I think I need to go back, potentially. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's the spot, too, so I think I gotta backtrack to, like, the village. Which sucks, because now I have to do those jumps again. To play the Oh, I love- I love the super old episodes. Really, to be brutally honest, my favorite episodes are the ones where he did console reviews. Like, the Virtual Boy, the- the Commodore, the Amiga, um, not the Amiga, but the, uh... You know, the- the ColecoVision and the Intellivision and all that crap. 32X. Classic stuff right there. I'm actually- I also like his Nintendo Power reviews, and I'm actually thinking about doing some Nintendo Power retrospective uh, videos myself. I own a bunch of the Nintendo Power issues you can see lined up behind me, and uh, I have a lot of the old ones. And I think McDom is uh, sending me some old ones as well, too. I don't know how I made that jump, but okay. Yeah, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing it. This would be way worse if there were like Medusa heads coming at you on top of everything. Can you imagine? Pun intended, but safe states really saves this. <laughs> like, this would be- I would be a lot- I'd be a much unhappier person right now if it wasn't for save states. You guys are gonna have to give me a pass. I think- I think save states were made for this part right here. And I'm- I am going to exploit it to the full. Even though I'm doing really good. <laughs> I haven't died yet. Knock on wood. Alright. I may have actually done that in one go. Well, I'm not using an emulator. I bought this on, uh, it's the Switch version. You can get this, you can get a collection right here. See the Castlevania Anniversary Collection right there. And I got it for $5. Ba -ba 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 well, I mean, technically, I guess it is emulation, but it's not on an emulator, it's on the Switch. Alright, so... Look at that, that's something something Scorp would say. Sure, I'll take you to a good place. <laughs> oh man, that, that's Scorp's that character. <laughs> it's very uh, suspicious. <laughs> so the question now is I think I need to. Yeah, I need to go back. So this time I don't have the heart selected. And let's see what he does here. Oh, come on with that crap! I gotta be careful. I gotta ignore the chat here for a minute. Hey, speaking of retro, can we get to Nintendo 64 likes? Ha 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 ha! So this should be a different place? Yes, it is. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I have, hey, and I have Nintendo 64 hearts. How about that? That's funny. 
Not planned. But there you go. So I don't know if I'm going to need hearts here, but I'm just going to do a little bit of farming. Farming in the night. Because we need hearts. Farming in the night. Because it feels right. Nothing wrong with using any player. And if anything, it's Nintendo's fault. Like, there's... The big argument there is... Which I tend to agree with. Is I get wanting to protect your properties. You know, they want to they wanna make money on those older games. That's fine. But the problem now is... You know, they're not the ones making the money off the actual games. It's the sellers of those games. Like, the used copies and stuff. So, the only way to play it is to, is to do that. And they're not making the money off of it. So, you know, it would make sense that, you know... Why, why are they, like... Really cherry picking what's available online when there's money to be made there, and pretty easy money too. Wait, what? Get a silk bag from the graveyard. Duck to live longer. I've been waiting for a good-looking guy like you. Thanks for the compliment, y'all. You hear that? The game thinks I'm good-looking. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna clip that. I'm gonna say thanks, game. Here's a link to the tweet. If anybody cares. <laughs> making jokes, making jokes. Alright, anyway. Okay, so... I'm guessing someone in this in this town has like the red crystal, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm just assuming. What the beep? Oh, that was the diamond. <laughs> wow. You kind of threw me off guard there though. Oh, look at this. More cryptic stuff. Isn't that neat? As Pensive would say, learning to explore. Alright. Will you buy some garlic? Yes. Okay. I don't know why I bought garlic, but I got it. Gotta sneeze potentially. I think I've already been up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know, Dracula's dead though, so that's not gonna do me too much good, Magorp. 
I don't think. My nose is stopped up because I gotta sneeze. What is with these cryptic houses? <laughs> Why do they gotta hide? Buy some of my laurels and soup and make it tastier. Except I need more currency. Remember that random tip. Laurels and soup make the aroma. I think this guy might give me something too. I'd like to exchange a blue crystal for a red one. Hey, there he is. There's the red guy. Nice. Perfect. What? <laughs> what the heck are those things? Oh man, I could see this being a huge pain. <laughs> oh, that was an interesting place to spawn me. What is that? <laughs> Looks like a xenomorph. Oh man, I really hate those blobs. What? Another town? I don't have much. Wow, this guy's really protected. Buy some of my laurels. Oh, it's Laurel 2 Electric Boogaloo. At least we can camp some hearts here. I mean, I gotta say, this game's not too bad. I mean, it kind of reminds me like of a really crappier Symphony of the Night. And that's not a bad thing. I kind of like the exploring aspect of it. I think where it gets a bad rap especially is probably some of the cryptic jumps and then you know the cryptic things which back then you didn't really know now you kind of know or if you've watched like abgn or you know stuff like that which i have but especially back then like you know you were kind of forced to like get a nintendo power magazine or know a friend that could tell you a hint Judd. But other than that, it's not that bad, minus the cryptic stuff, to be honest. I'm actually impressed. I actually think I might like this better than Castlevania 1, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Castlevania 1 is great too, but the problem that I don't like about it is that stupid hall area. That was dumb. Yeah, the music's great too. Why do you like Castlevania Scorp?
The wholesome characters. I see, I see. Like these zombie ladies. Are they are they your idea of wholesome? I'm having trouble finding a good camping spot. Maybe right here? I can force the respawn? By that door? Yeah, I think if I go to and from that door, they respawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not giving me too many hearts, though. Well, now they are. <laughs> as soon as I said they weren't, they are. Well, now we're really rolling in hearts. We can at least buy some laurels. Da 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 Don't look into the Death Star, <laughs> or you will die. <laughs> okay, someone's a Star Wars fan. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the Death Star. Oh, jeez. These comments, man. I think this is the Laurels guy. Yeah, we can at least get the Laurels here. There you go, Pensive. Laurels! Alright, so what in the world... I don't know what laurels do. So what are you doing for your birthday, McDom, if you're still tuning in? Anything crazy? I mean, I guess I can go back. Mm. Try to do some day farming. I mean, I don't even know what a laurel does. McSpooky McMonster. How you doing, yo? At least we're getting a lot of hearts here. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm camping for hearts. Da -da -da. No plans. Mm 
Uh, so pensive. So how long of a game is Rondo of Blood? You think we could beat that in one stream? Dang, that did a lot of damage there. We need we need a little bit more. Okay. So Dom, I'll tell you what then. I'll, I'll let you. You're the birthday boy. I'll let you decide. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do uh, Castlevania Four. That's the Super Nintendo one. Super Castlevania. But then, should I do Castlevania 3 or should I do Rondo of Blood before Symphony of the Night? Now, for context, I've never played Rondo of Blood, and Rondo of Blood is a direct prequel to Symphony of the Night. Like, apparently, literally after Rondo of Blood is uh, Symphony of the Night. I do have both, because Rondo of Blood is part of the uh, collection that Symphony of the Night is in. I gotta find a better camping spot. Yeah, this, this spot sucks. Ah, here's the door area that I camped before. Yeah, so if I just keep going in and out of this door, they'll keep spawning in. Rondo Blood, eh? Doesn't this collection also include the Sega version? Like the the, the, the secret Sega Genesis Castlevania? I've heard that one's actually okay too. No worries. Oh, apparently I leveled up. That's nice. Yeah, Bloodlines, Bloodlines. Now I'm level two. One thing I've noticed though is there's no way to save here. I think this was a game that used passwords. So I actually think I have to use save states for this. Unless I want to enter in a long password. Which one do you all think is better, Bloodlines or Rondo of Blood? Exactly, our man. What is a man? <laughs> That's our dono sound if anybody wants to donate. No pressure. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Da -da 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 -dee. We're almost at 200 here. I think if I go out here and farm just a couple more, I should be good to go. Oh, crap. Never mind. Forget that. <laughs> I don't want to go after the blobs. I'll go the left way. To the left it is. But yeah, thank you all for being here. Like again, this is my first time playing it. I'm, I'm actually loving it. I'm actually, I, literally, I'm not even kidding you. Like, I'm gonna be that guy and say I think I like this better than the first Castlevania, which I guess is a hot take. I mean, sure, it has its flaws, but 
are they're not really flaws anymore. Like the one major flaw at the time was, you know, its cryptic nature. But it's, it's again, it's it's open information at this point. So. And in a way, I mean, the, the bad translations are a bit of com comedic relief. <laughs> so in a way, it's comedy as well, too. That guy looks pretty lost. Da, 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 da. Wee! Scuba da baba da bee. Skiddly daddly do. Bum bum weir. I'm glad I'm glad I'm played it today. All right, so now I think we got the best whip. Whoops, sorry about that. Hit the mic. Bum 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 bum. Billy Billy B Skilly Dudley Do Alright, so I think So we got the red crystal. So now I gotta figure out what to do with it. And I know that that's the duck oops. Well, that paid off. I know that's the duck down area, but I forgot which way that is. I think it might be this way, potentially. Jeez. Mm, I see, Pensive, I see. I haven't been down here yet, so I'm just gonna see what what this is all about. Oh, son of a beep. Derp. <laughs> that place is so narrow. Alright, hang on. I'm just gonna jump from up top here. It might be a little bit better. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, you gotta watch out for that one. Uh oh. And I can see how that's a little bit annoying too, but that's really kind of a first world problem. You can get over it. Okay, we did pretty good there. Well, those guys are much quicker to beat now. Took a lot of stupid hits there, but that's okay. Oh my God! Did you see the the height on that jump? <laughs> Jeez. Here we go. Okay, so now what? Wait, somebody said do something in the graveyard. One of the NPCs, and I forgot what. Something in the graveyard. Uh. I don't think it's the red crystal thing yet. I don't think this is it. I forgot what the graveyard was. No, I don't I don't remember the message about the graveyard. Garlic? Okay, wait a minute. I just remember someone said something about the graveyard. Uh I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be ducking or actually using it or
or dancing. You know, one or the other. <laughs> hmm. Oh god. Maybe I can use it. I don't know. I'm temp. I'm. I'm Hello. I'll give you a silk bag. Okay. So now I have a silk bag. It's right next to the M star. I don't know why I need a silk bag, but thank you. It looks nice. Appreciate it. Blobs are horrendous. <laughs> okay. I cannot make this jump, I don't think. Nope. Oh, jeez. Totally dead here. Well, I'm just going to have to take it. Okay, so we got a silk bag. But there's nothing else over here. So I still don't know where to go with this red crystal. I'm still trying to figure out what those dark dudes are too. Like, are they? They're not. They're not the. Uh, they're not the creatures from the Black Lagoon. They look like they literally look like xenomorphs. I don't know. Okay, so we're getting close back to over here. I don't think this is right. That's the guy that gave me the red crystal right up there. I think, I think one thing that would really help out this game, though, I will say, one one major flaw I can give it, is it definitely could have benefited from a map. But again, that's one of those things where, like, if you really wanted to, you could look online or get a Nintendo Power magazine or something. Um, but it definitely could have benefited from that, like a map system. Give me one second here. Um, yeah, I have enough to buy more laurels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's really my only gripe about it. Is just, you know... Because even Metroid, as wacky as it is, at least you can pause and there's a map. <laughs> and so... That's really my only little complaint here with this one. And that's not a bad complaint, I mean, you know. I think it was this house up here that sold the laurels? I can't remember. Well, might as well stop by here. Bumping into things, apparently. 
Oh no! I didn't know I still had the thing on the garlic. I hope I don't need that again. <laughs> oh man. Oops. And all of a sudden it's not working too. I guess I gotta leave and come back in order to use it. Yeah. What's up, Dynamic? Pretty sure this is the Laurels guy. Nope. But hey, guess what? Do, okay, well now the question is, do I need garlic still? Or am I? is that a one and done thing? But I guess it wouldn't hurt to buy some. But yeah, how you doing, Dynamic? Oh man, excuse me. Woo. Hey, Dustin, how you doing, man? How's life been treating you today? Da -da 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 -da. Just closing out some windows here. I'm getting a little bit of lag on my end, which is kind of weird. Yeah, October's going by fast. Okay, I closed out some windows. Maybe now that'll help a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some garlic. Just because. If we need it, we'll have it. Now it's going to be night time. Ooh, now we can kill them with one hit. Nice. Anyway, I'm going to go to the left because there's another town where you can buy uh, laurels. And by then, we should have more hearts. And maybe that's where I need to go anyway, is to the left. I could be totally wrong, though, but I'm just going to see. What are you up to today, Dazzy? Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I've got a really cool short idea for tomorrow. I, I hope it does well. I'm going to work on that later tonight after we beat this. I'm hopeful. It's, it's one of my better ideas, so we'll see. Scorp knows what it is. Dang, Lingy. What are you up to today, Ling? Derping. Wiggling. Well, that sounds good, Dazzy. Wiggling. <laughs> Lots of hearts there. I really don't like those blue blobs, though. They are literally the worst. Oh my gosh. At least we made it out of there. Welcome back, J.A. So now we just gotta stay alive. Yeah, we have 86. Yeah, the off-brand jellyfish. 
Yeah, 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 Dustin, I am. It's probably gonna be Wednesday, though. Like, on a day that I'm off. Potentially. It's just really hard for me to find times to do that. They may even just have to start becoming member movie afternoons. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can just do nights anymore. But that's still on the agenda because I want to watch it myself. Because it features Celebi and I like Celebi. Oh, I still haven't gotten my dog on code, by the way. Is this the Laurel place? No. I think it's just at the bottom. One of these bottom houses here. No problem, Pensive. That's the Death Star lady. This is probably the lower house. Yes. That's right, because I have to go through here. There we go. We got a few more laurels. Alright, so now that we got Laurel, now I really don't know where to go. <laughs> uh, the only thing I can think of is, but I just can't remember, is to keep going to the left, and there's another blocky jump area, and I can't remember if there was two blocky jump areas, and this one's a different blocky jump area from the other one that I went to already. But we're gonna find out, I guess. So we're just gonna go through this blocky jump area. I just can't remember if it's different or not. I feel like it's the same. This is where a map would be really nice. Because I feel like we're at the point where we need to use the crystal. Oh, it's different. It is different. Okay. Well, this might be it then. Yeah, that was that was much shorter. Yeah, this is it. This is it. All right. So, I got to equip the red crystal. This is like the most cryptic part of the game, and I think I have to wait like a long time. Yeah, there you go. The classic tornado. There we go, there we go. Sweet. Apparently that was like a huge secret back in the day. But we made progress, we made progress. GG, GG. And the only reason why I knew about that is because of the Angry Video Game Nerd episodes. Oh no, it's the blue blobs. What? Oh man, there's holes in the floor. Okay. 
I gotta equip the holy water here. Okay. There we go. And again, thank you all so much for being here. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can squeeze out 70 likes on the stream if you're enjoying yourself. If not, that's okay too. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Alright. So we gotta find the oak steak guy. Which might be through here. No. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I actually didn't know that. You could just jump through the wall there. Well, hopefully this is the right way. We need the oak steak first. Oh crap. I turned the wrong way. That's a shame. I got very far on that life. Okay. I guess I have to go that way. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rush? Yeah, I've heard that's a really bad one. Okay. This is a much bigger area. Maybe the... Oh, I feel like the oak steak's gonna be up top, if it's anywhere. It could be wrong, though. No, I think I'm wrong. All right, so I guess I got to go to the bottom. I got to get these hearts too. I forget that you have to pay for the oak steak. It ain't free. Point of this area. Aha. Ah, it's the oak steak guy. Nice. But I don't know if I have enough hearts because I died. Yeah. Shoot. I need a little more. Oh, jeez. Where did this take me? Now I have absolutely no idea where I am. Let's see if we can try to backtrack around. But at least we found the Oak Sake, guys. So we know... Okay, this is the end of the level, so literally the Oak State guy is on the way to the end of the level. Kind of unfortunate we didn't have enough hearts there at the time. So now I gotta figure out how to backtrack to the end of that area. You just gotta Samus Morph Ball into that little hole right there. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> okay, so we're backtracking. I'm not even backtracking, I'm tracking because I never went down this way before. But, we should be close to the amount of hearts needed. I do kind of like that, like, you know, throwing the holy water to find little secret areas routine. Alright, I think this is the beginning of the level. So now we just gotta loop around, and this time we definitely have enough hearts for the stake. So we just gotta get through the level now. Should be easy. Should be straightforward to the point. This is actually one of the easier uh, mansion areas. Other than these blue blobs here. 
Oh, <laughs> I forgot about the hole. Yeah, that's the only like challenging part about this is the is the sense of confusion for all the gaps. What is that though? What are these little boulders? I don't know. That's weird. Okay. There you go, Biolithic. Oh, crap. Actually, this got me last time. I fell right into those dudes and, they, and I died. But I think there's a hole in the floor, like, around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think... Hmm... Here's where I mildly forgetful. Alright, this is gonna suck, because I might... Okay, no, I'm hanging in there. Okay, here's where the steak guy is. Which is actually a very generous place for him to be. We'll buy the oak steak. We'll fall down. Go to the right. Spotty frame rate. Okay, here we go. And then we equip it. And wait, what? What did I get? <laughs> I don't even know what I got. Looks like a tooth. Looks like I have Dracula's tooth. I'm gonna assume that's his tooth. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Hey, but thank you, thank you, thank you. So I, from the looks of it, it looks like there's only like one more mansion left. This could be one of my shorter playthroughs. Which is which would be good for me being productive though for the rest of the night. If that ends up being the case. So now we gotta get out of here, and then I think we gotta go to the left. We didn't really go to the left area yet. Thank you, Magorp. Heading over to the left. <coughs> Excuse me. Da -da. Uh. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Oh, it still does. Nice. So the red crystal has the same powers as the blue crystal. Nice. Yeah, um, oh, doggone it all. Uh, ghosts and goblins and ghouls and ghosts and all that, they're far more challenging. They're like the Dark Souls of the olden days. Okay, yeah, this is, this is definitely new. And actually, this looks like Dracula's castle, potentially. Mm -mm. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. 
What? They take a lot of hits. Well, these look like fun-filled enemies. How do you in the beep do you get over there? Hmm. Aha. Is this another... I'll give you... Oh! Oh, he gives me the, uh, the flame whip. Oh, nice! To break my spell, come back with a powerful weapon. Yo, we got the flame whip. Nice. Oh man, this area is so glitchy looking. Never mind the glitchy looking waterfalls. <laughs> it's already pretty spotty. All right, hopefully these skull heads die in like two or three hits now rather than four. Yeah, so the flame whip definitely helped. Yeah, I like this game. I'm not gonna lie. It's neat. Was not expecting to have that end result today. Alright, I could go up. I'm gonna see what's to the left first. Ooh, that's interesting. Heat seeking missiles. Interesting enemy there. Oh lord. Especially because the flame guy is going to follow me from behind, I think. No. And what'd you think of it then, airbending? Those flame guys are pretty tough. You just gotta keep your distance before they fire that projectile. Oh lord. I'm gonna get a death here. That looks like a leech. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Wow, this is quite the trek. Oh, that's what the laurels do. And soup. So I guess this is supposed to be soup. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, how about that? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, but... It didn't last forever! Okay, so we're at the fifth place here. Nice! Interesting, interesting. Yes, yeah, soup. Some dangerous soup. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that actually. I meant to have the holy water. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> That, that's that's another one of my only complaints about the game, is the frame rate really suffers 
when you get like more than like three enemies on a screen. It gets really buggy. Have to admit what, Rushy? Yeah, no, it really was. I, like I said, a hot, super hot take, but I think I like this better than the first Castlevania. But yeah, very ambitious for the time, for sure. Dang, McLaws. Shoot. Here we go. Invest in an oak steak, yes. What? I must barely not have enough. Yeah, I need ten more. Shoot! <laughs> Same airbending. I need, like, one more heart. Hopefully this guy will drop some. No. Oh, gone at all. <laughs> no! Yeah, there we go. Now we've got enough for an oak steak. Yes, I will invest. No, I will not invest. I wonder if you could buy multiple and like carry it over to like another dungeon or if it's that particular oak steak. Very curious spot here. Oh, this spot blows. Alright, but we got by it, we got by it. I was supposed to jump, wasn't I? I bet I was supposed to jump there, and now I have to super backtrack. I'm I'm almost willing to bet I messed up. Unless we can loop around. Wait, what? I beg of you to take these laurels. Okay. Oh, that sucks. There we go. A little bit of platforming there. And we're back where we were, so we definitely... Oh, what? Where did you learn to fly? Remember that? It's not the same person, but... Oh, jeez. I mean, I bet I could just walk by it, just like the Reaper.
Dang, this just keeps going. You can pro there's probably ways to hit it more, but I've got a good thing going here. I'm gonna have to ignore the chat for a minute though, because if I look away, I'm gonna be dead. There we go, nice. You know? Oh, they got Possess right though. Possess the magic cross. Nice. They spelled it correctly that time. Alright, and then... There we go. You now possess Dracula's ring. Okay. I don't know what that does, though. Wait, what? I'm not gonna kill him again. See ya. What's going on, Hugh, man? Oh, that blows. No, you cannot. Rush. Oh, man. Oh, man. Whew! Okay, but actually... How do I get out of here? <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not entirely sure how to get out. there. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to climb this way. I think. I don't know. I don't think this is going to take me out. Oh no, okay. I didn't see this path. Ah, pfft, I didn't... I should have paused. Got a little bit carefree there. There we go. I don't think this is right. I think I have to go to the bottom left. Right over here. Mm -mm -mm. Whee! Leap of faith. Alright, and now we'll just go to the left. I think. And now we need to put more laurels, which we have a ton of now. Oops. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea, just in case it, like, crashes. I should probably save. I don't see why it would, but you never know. It's quite the trek. 
Well, those ones are very floaty. Ah, uh, here's the other side of the cemetery where I couldn't get over. But this is going to take us way back to the beginning of the game, though, which I don't know if we should or not. I think we've got all the pieces. I mean, heck, we even have uh, the cross up there. I don't know what to do here, because I know if I literally jump over this cliff, I'm going to be all the way back at the beginning. What's up, Tien? And I don't know if I should or shouldn't. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to think back, like, what... I'm glad you enjoyed it, Tien. Oh, I'm fine, yeah. It was fun. I think I'm gonna get a slice of pizza here real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Bump, Welcome back, Judd. How are you doing, Tian? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Chain Chomp? Give me one second here. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have to go back to Dracula's castle. Potentially. I don't know. Are you at work now? I'm just assuming though, like I don't know. I just... Oh man, hang on, there might be some buffering. Are we good? Can you see me? Hang on, I might, I might, I might be having some buffering. <laughs> like, I don't know, I, I can't see me. Hang tight, everybody.
Can y'all see me? I can't see me on my end, so I don't know what's doing. I'm just seeing a never-ending buffer, so. I don't know. Hang on. I'm just gonna give it a minute. I don't know. Like, I'm, my computer's struggling right now. I guess I could try to just fully close Chrome. Let's see if that helps. No, that made it worse. I literally don't know if y'all can see me or hear me. Here, let me close some of these. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can't... Nothing's loading on my Chrome. Okay, there we go. Now it's, now it's kind of loading a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. It's really struggling. I'm just seeing a bunch of buffering, so. I'm looking at my phone. Last comment I see is stream dead. I still see buffering on my end, but I can at least see the chat. Okay, there we go. I think I'm good now. I think it's good now, potentially. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds. <laughs> but I think it's good. Yeah, now I can see everything. That was weird. Okay. I think I have to go back to Dracula's Castle. I don't know, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm just assuming that was Dracula's Castle, too. It looked like it could have been. So. Here we go. <laughs> but I think we're potentially at the end. my last laurel too. That sucks. I might die here at the 99 yard line. Yeah, sorry about that tech issue. I don't know. Sometimes it happens. It is what it is. How you holding up, Remy and McDom? There's a lot of skulls chasing me. I'm just going to Rambo by him there. I think this is the, the castle. I could be wrong, though. And then the connection seems to be good now, too, which is great. supposed to make that jump.
I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with Dracula's ring. edge there it's like it's pretty rough I don't, I don't know what that does if anything oh crap I accidentally used the garlic there hmm Well, maybe I, <laughs> maybe I just go around like so. I don't know. This does look like it could be it, though. It's got that menacing castle vibe. hole in the ground there. I'm not sure what to do at the top there. Oh man, these holes are very interesting. Alright, I may have to like get a guide or something. Hang on a minute. Because I think this is it. I just don't know really what to do. It's probably something cryptic again. Um. I mean, back then, you would just pop up on your Nintendo Power magazine. What? Ah, now it's buffering, too. Now I'm gone at all. I'm seeing buffering on my end. It seems every time I try to load a guide, I get buffering. So I might need like someone in the chat to guide me. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm really struggling. I can't open up new tabs. Buffering again. I don't know. I don't even know if y'all can hear me or see me. I'm just gonna keep playing. Well, we've got all five of the the Dracula's parts, though. I just need to know where to go from this point forward. But yeah, every time I try to look up a guide, I get more buffering, so I'm just- I can't touch anything.
I feel like this is something to do with this. Like, I feel like we're close. Like, I just need to figure out how to get up there, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I got I got all the Dracula's parts, though. I got all five of them. I just don't know where to go. And I can't look up a guide. Without buffering. Clearly, there's more to it up top. Yeah, I don't know. It's not a map. I need, like, instructions on what to do. <laughs> this is the part where a map's not gonna help. Like, it's gonna be something cryptic, like, equip the ring and duck for 10 seconds here in this area. Like, it might even be that gate right there in the middle. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I'm supposed to go back. Yeah, I just need to know where to go after... Where do you, Where to get to Dracula's castle? I could just try to go back this way, I suppose. See what happens. It's either gonna be really right or really wrong. Oh, welcome back, Pensive. I don't think I remember yellow lagoon creatures. I could be wrong, though. 
Oh god, they fire super fast. I definitely don't remember that. Unless the monsters have leveled up. Wait, everything's different. <laughs> this definitely seems like endgame vibes. Now the bad news here is I don't have any more laurels, so I'm probably dead here. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to take some hits. This is either different or like it's endgame vibes where everything's like 10 times stronger. What's interesting is they were stronger during the day. That's weird. It's like backwards. I don't know if I'm going the right way, though, but... This looks new. I guess it is the right way because I don't recognize this. Wait, what's Sacred Flame? Yeah, the cheesing ending. Wait, how do I get the sacred flame? Because I want to do the cheese ending. I actually thought it was the holy water that did it. Actually, that's not the right way, I don't think. This is either like... Oh, okay, wait a minute. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say I either need garlic or something else. This is my starting soon screen song. So we can't cheese it. Dang it. I wanted to do the cheese ending because I thought that was so funny in Angry Video episode. He just dropped the flame on Dracula and he's dead. He didn't even move. There you go, Rush. My guess is it's probably still not going to be too hard. I'll save in case I want to go back to get this the cheese flame.
Well, this is definitely going to be a shorter stream. Jeez. Yeah, we're going to form Dracula now with his body parts. We're manifesting Scorp. Is that it? Was that it? <laughs> Is that the ending? What was that the climactic boss? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what in the world? That was supposed to be Dragon of Three Dagger Hits? Oh, man. Wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Wow. What an interesting... Uh, I can see why people might have been ticked off then back in the day. Like, you know, these... This could easily be beaten one day. I mean, I did. In four hours. Granted, I knew the cryptic stuff. But, like... Man, talk about anticlimactic. Hey there, Aiden. <laughs> Man. Man, I don't even know what to make of that. Always be remembered for your bravery and courage. What the heck? <laughs> McEggis, you missed like the stupidest, cheesiest. What? You know what's even funnier, though? You want know to make something even funnier? There's actually an even cheesier way to cheese that. I just didn't have it. That, wow. <laughs> I don't know how to make about that. That's true. It is still tougher than the Grim Reaper fight. <laughs> man, man, man. I gotta say, that's pretty anticlimactic. Hmm. No, I liked it up to that boss. I mean, I think I prefer that style better than the first one. But the first one's definitely way more of a challenge. Like, it doesn't even compare. It's like, you know, daycare versus college. <laughs> so, like, I don't know, man. I don't know what to make of that game. I can't... After that anticlimactic Dracula boss, I don't know. Hmm. Please tell me Dracula is going to come back and surprise you. No, I think that was it. <laughs> I think we did it. <laughs> oh, man. I was not expecting a four-hour stream. Well, four and a half. Yikers. Hmm. <laughs> well, now what am I going to do with my day? I know, right, Rush? <laughs> Man, that was that was one of my quickest playthroughs ever. Four and a half. Literally, actually, technically, because I did some intro talking, it took me four hours. It was right around four hours, because I did intro talking. I'm talking now. Oh, I'm not doing a different game right now. Nah. Mm -mm. I've got everything set up for Simon's Quest. I like things... Neat, detailed, archived, and organized. <laughs> and especially not Hollow Knight. Nah, no, no, no. If anything, I guess I would do the member movie night of the Pokemon movie. Right now, right now, I guess. Right now, right now. I don't know, though, yo. Play Pong. Oof. Well, I mean, okay, so like... Well, first off, we beat it. <laughs> so GG, I guess? Wait a minute, it's not working. There we go. And then secondly... How do I get out of here? What? I guess I have to like, hard reset? Hard close? 
Metroid Dread is Tuesday. Yeah, Storm, we just beat it, I guess. Yeah, Metroid Dread on Tuesday. Every day has got to have a rhyme and a reason. That's the way I do streams around here. <laughs> I know some people are different, and that's perfectly fine. Some people do, like, multi-streams. That's great. They'd be like, okay, we did this, so let's move into this. You know, they'll do, like, five games in a stream. That's fine. That's not how I roll. Um, but let's see. Let's see the options here. So we've knocked out Castlevania 1. We've knocked out Castlevania 2. I think what's going to happen is I'm just going to skip Castlevania 3. And I'm going to go to Super Castlevania right there. What's up, Zastro? And then, uh... And then after we beat Super Castlevania, I'll move on to Rondo of Blood. Which is, um, the same collection as Symphony of the Night. And Rondo of Blood is a direct prequel of, uh, Symphony of the Night. The only other option I could do... Is I could do the Sega Genesis Bloodlines. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We also have Kid Dracula. What do you make of that? And a bonus book. What is a bonus book? We'll let you immerse yourself in the world of Castlevania series to make your gaming experience much more filling. Please read it before and after playing the games. Okay. What does this do? So if I do... So if I skip three, Biolithic, then Super Castlevania is going to be next Sunday. Mm -mm. Eh, just because. I don't know. I feel like it might just be... It's... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'd rather play Ronda of Blood or Bloodlines. What is this? Change the page. Yeah, Sunday's gonna be Castlevania. Tuesday's gonna be Metroid. And pretty soon, I'm gonna throw in Kingdom Hearts in the mix. Whether that's on Mondays or... Or whatnot. That's a cute kid Dracula cover art. Oh, this gives you <laughs> this gives you plot. Uh, Simon Secondary. This title portrays the continuing adventure of Simon following the events of Castlevania. Unlike the previous installment, this one was developed as an action RPG. It maintains the action elements of its predecessor, but mainly focuses on exploration and puzzle solving within a far more expansive game world. Yeah, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hey, what's up, Kichi? How you doing? It's something I'll think about. Like, I won't set up the stream tonight. I'll think on it and maybe set it up tomorrow if I want to do uh, three or super or whatnot. I'm going to do super eventually, though, for sure. <laughs> Now you catch you later, McDazaruni. What's up, Detlef? Yeah, we just beat the game, so we're actually kind of about to end, I guess. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at this bonus book here. I mean, this also includes the uh, the Game Boy Castlevania games. <laughs> Eventually, I'm not going to do Hollow Knight anytime soon, though. Wow, they got the history of Castlevania and everything here. Yeah, I probably won't do Castlevania until January. When Silk Saw comes out in February. Well, that's kind of neat. Bonus JP versions. Uh, the bonus Japanese versions of the games included in this collection are also available. Enjoy finding all the differences between the English versions. That's interesting. <laughs> so you can play the Japanese versions and the English versions. Nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Man, this 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 is a, a truly unexpected. <laughs> I was expecting a longer stream. I'm not going to lie. Um, well. Yeah, I don't know. Um, 
I got a lot to think about, about when the next one... Well, it's going to be on Sunday. Whatever I do Castlevania-wise is going to be on Sunday. So be on the lookout for Sunday. But I'm going to think... I'm going to look into and think about whether or not I want to do just Castlevania 3 or Round of Blood. But I think I'm going to lean towards Round of Blood. Plus, I did say that Dom could pick it because it was his birthday. Um, and I think it would be kind of neat because Castlevania Symphony of the Night is my favorite. And Round of Blood is a prequel. To just play that prequel and see how it leads up into it. I think they'd be kind of fun. So I'm thinking about just more than likely just making next Sunday Super Castlevania, which is Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo. And then the following Run of Blood, and then Halloween Night is going to be Symphony of the Night. Um, and that, that's going to line up perfectly, like especially if they're kind of on the short side like this. But you can definitely tell the difference. It's kind of funny. Like... Uh, the first Castlevania took me a lot longer to beat, and that was with save states. And you can see they really... It was a shorter game, but they padded the difficulty by just making it super wacky with patterns and memorization. Whereas here, it was a longer game, but it was pretty pretty straightforward and really easy, cheesy bosses. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. So I think what's going to happen is next Sunday will more than likely be Super Castlevania right here came out in 1991. I'm very excited about that. I've heard a lot about it. And uh, and then at that point, we'll go from there. And uh, yeah, I think that just about covers it. I, I don't know. It's pretty wacky. Pretty wacky stream today. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'll tell you what I could do, potentially. Um... I could do the member movie night for Pokemon, but it would have to be like probably within an hour so I can give people a little bit of a heads up at the very least. And that's assuming I do it. I don't know. Well, Retreen, I hate to tell you, but we just beat the game. <laughs> but how you doing, Retreen? That said, I'm, I'm considering doing the Pokemon movie night tonight, I suppose. Dang retreats. But I don't know. Final rating. I mean, I feel like I like this one better than the first one. But that's only because the first one had a lot of cheap shots. Um, like it, it, it felt challenging for the sake of it, for, for being challenging. Like there wasn't really a rhyme or reason to it. Um. I can see why this game gets a lot of hate. Like I said, a lot of the cryptic parts I kind of just knew just by watching the Angry Video Game Nerd and being a huge fan of them over the years. So it wasn't that cryptic for me per se, even though I got lost for a couple seconds there. Um, but all in all, like, just pretty straightforward. And uh, I can see some first world problem things like the prompts going from day to night and, um, you know, a little bit of frame rate issues when it gets a lot of enemies on the screen at once. But, you know, outside of that, it wasn't too bad. So honestly, I think personal preference, hot take, super hot take. I think I like this one better than the first. But that also, bear in mind, comes from the lack of nostalgia. Like, I didn't have that childly nostalgia of playing the first one first. Which I'm sure plays a major factor for a lot of people. The fact that, you know, that first Castlevania was their first. Um, and even though it was mine, too. Well, actually, that's not true. Cynthia and I was my first. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not... I don't have that nostalgic sentimental value thing going on. So, I don't know. I think I think Simon's Quest got a bad rap. Honestly. Outside of the, the cryptic things, which are pretty much common knowledge now, it's not a bad game. <laughs> I don't know. Well, 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 that said, the bosses suck. Like, that could definitely use some work. I mean, the bo bosses are a literal joke. Dracula at the end was a joke. That, that kind of makes it tough for me to say it's better than the first. Obviously, the first is way more challenging. That's without question. But I just feel I had a better overall experience with this one. Like, I don't know. Even though it was short. Very short. And again, I imagine they would pad that by just making a lot of cryptic things that you had to figure out. Like, if you didn't know what to do, that could easily be a super long game. Just going around in circles. 
But at that point, if you're a kid going around in circles, you'll probably just get mad and return the game. Like, I can't beat this. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, it's really tough for me to give that a rating. I'm not going to lie. I think I gave the first Castlevania a 7 out of 10. I think I'll just say I'll give this one a 7 out of 10, too. They're both good for their own reasons. They're both silly for their own reasons. Pretty even Stevens. I think that's my final rating for this one. Both 7 out of 10. This one could be higher if it weren't for like the stupid easy boss fights. But, whatever. Um, anyway... I don't know. I mean, of the people in the chat right now, who would be down for a movie night, potentially? I mean, I really, <laughs> really don't know what to do. I got the whole night. I mean, I know what I'm gonna do later tonight. I have, uh, I have a really good idea for a short I'm gonna work on, but I feel like it's way too early. I just woke up. <laughs> oh man. No, I guess. Well, it's pretty short, I think. Let me see. Zerud movie. I don't know what it's called. Zerud movie. It's an hour and 40 minutes. It's actually on the longer side for a Pokemon movie. Normally they're like closer to like an hour and a half or less. That's fair, Frisk. That's fair. Well, I mean, I guess we can do that then. I mean, that would... At least I can get it out of the way and be f fairly quick about it. <laughs> you know, because I was starting to wonder when I would have time to do it. If we started in 30 minutes, could you do it, Agus? Do it for Celebi. Do it for shiny Celebi. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be planning out movie nights in, in this stream. This is not, not what I uh, had in mind. Okay, what about 9.30? <laughs> what about 10? I have all night, I guess. What about 10.30? What about 11? What about 11.30? What about 12? <laughs> like, you let me know. T to the he. 9.30? That's fair. I mean, that'll give me time to, like, do some stuff. And give people a heads up. Alright. Let's do it at 9.30. No, 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 no. You gotta be on the Discord, Dustin. I can't stream movies. That would That would take my channel down hard. So make sure you're on our Discord, and then if you have any questions, um, on how you gotta make sure your YouTube account's synced up so you can access the chat. So just hop on in there, sync it up, and there you go. Yeah, I'm, I apologize. I mean, in a way, it's cool though. I don't mind short streams, but geez. I gotta say, like, that's a low 7 out of 10. It's not even a high 7 out of 10, because, like, I almost want to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Because it was so short and anticlimactic. Like, jeez. We just breeze right by it, but, I mean, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, be on the lookout. I'm probably just going to skip Dracula's Curse and go straight into Super Castlevania next. And then we'll switch on over to the PlayStation 5. And I'll play through Rondo of Blood and then Symphony of Night for the for the last two weeks of October. Um, so yeah. So hey, I had fun with it. I, hey, bottom line, I liked it way better than I expected. I thought I was gonna hate it, but it actually isn't that bad. So I can see why it got a bad rap, but I I can also see the humor and the complaints, you know, the the bad translations and the cryptic nature. I can see where people are coming from and why it got a bad rap, but I I definitely think the bad rap is overrated. But anyway, um, 
We're not gonna raid. Um, we're just gonna yeet on out of here. So if you guys got stuff you gotta do, just take care of it, stretch, eat, whatever. Yeah, thank you, Frisk. I appreciate that. And then I'm just gonna ping uh, the members, and then we'll uh, just get that going around 9:30, about an hour from now, about 50 minutes from now. So, um, hey, thanks for pretty much 75 likes. Shorter stream than usual, but hey, it'll be archived. Um, so if anybody wants to watch it, you can. Yeah, mod appreciation shout out, viewer appreciation shout out. Happy birthday again to McDom. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and wrap it up for the night. Jeez Louise. <laughs> that was unexpected. But, um, members, I'll see you later. And otherwise, I'm that bald gamer, and I'll catch you next time. Tomorrow is going to be a spooky, shiny Pokemon hunt. And then Tuesday is going to be the finishing of Metroid Dread. Uh, so there you go. And then be on the lookout for a YouTube Shorts video tomorrow. I'm going to work on that later tonight. So anyway, love y'all. You're the best. And I'll catch you next time. Yeah.